All right, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. Turn the page. That was the name of a song that came out years ago. And I heard it the other day and I thought, wow, it's kind of like the chapters of our life, turning the page. Every time we go through a new phase, a new chapter, if you will, we turn a page from the past to the, to the present and going on into the future. And I just recently went through that myself with my younger son going off to college. Another chapter of my life, another turning of the page, if you will. And it was a difficult transition. This is the younger of my two sons. And of course, what do you think I relied on? Gratitude. Every day that I've written in that gratitude journal since he's gone, it's helped me to reframe and refocus and really look at all the great things that I have in my life and not feeling bad because I'm missing my son or he's gone off to college or gone off to a life of his own. Yes, of course, it's very difficult, but everything in life as we found can be helped through those difficult times with gratitude because gratitude keeps your mindset into one of really, really thinking about everything you're grateful for everything you're appreciative of, everything you're thankful for. So when you have that gratitude journal, and if you don't have one, you can pick one up at thebrooker.com. Be writing and talking and thinking about everything in your life you're grateful for. And every time you have to go through a time where you turn the page, when you have another chapter, from school to college to marriage to kids to career to retirement, whatever it may be, those transitions can be challenging because people, as a rule, don't really like to change that much. They kind of like the status quo. So when you're going through those times, when you're turning that page, use gratitude and use your gratitude journal to kind of assist you to keep everything in the right frame of mind. That's the message for the day. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.